Hey, it's Mr. H, and in this video, I'm going to show you some pendulum wave simulations that I've built. So this first one is a three-dimensional simulator that I found for Desmos, and I've tweaked things to add quite a bit to it so that you can see this pendulum wave. And as you can see, we can pause the simulation, and just like in the Matrix movies, you can kind of pan the camera around to look at it from a different angle. And so I have all three axes available to me to pan around seeing this. Now, a pendulum wave is an interesting phenomenon that happens when you have pendulums that are multiple different heights all started at the same time. You end up with these emerging patterns that show up in the oscillations as they're going back and forth. So sometimes it looks like a, a random popcorn pattern. Other times, you can see multiple interweaving uh, helixes like DNA strands going across each other. And you can, in other instances, see straight lines form and begin to come through. The interesting things happen, I think, at time 314 and at time 628. And there's a neat reason that that happens at those specific values. So as we pan around and look at this simulation, try looking at just one single ball and notice that all it's doing is oscillating up and down, back and forth in that pattern. But as you look at the more complex pattern of all of the pendulum balls together, you start to see these patterns emerge. And that's a very, very interesting concept that can be shown with a pendulum wave. I'm interested in building an actual pendulum wave uh, made out of maybe billiard balls and wire and having a large physical model of this. But I thought first, what a great idea it would be to go into Desmos and build a simulation. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Now, I also have a two-dimensional simulation that I'm going to show you here in a minute where you can see the single equation that governs the movement of all of these pendulum balls all at once. Both of the links to the files for these Desmos simulations will be in the description below. Enjoy. If you've liked this video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. When you do that, you can get to all of my challenge videos, my other tutorials, and my other simulations that I've built. Remember, the links to both of these files are in the description below. So if you'd like to tweak things and change the way that these pendulum balls operate, then feel free to do so. Enjoy. 